This is my song June, and I have changed the names of the people in the in the poem so that I could sing it and post it and not have anyone upset with me. I wrote this January 19th, 2023. So I met June at Riverfront. He'd heard her talking on her cell and using words like crock and crunt. She was a dominatrix, I could tell. June was tough and not petite. She must have weighed 200 pounds. She sounded friendly but not sweet when making very public sexy sounds. June did phone sex anywhere. So I listened to her, then he'd tell me all about the things she'd share. She said the phone sex didn't pay too well. June made money turning tricks. It made her sad, but paid her way. She stood on resticles and ricks with her stilettos on to earn her pay. June took meds to ease her pain, depression caused by what she'd seen. She knew sh that she'd be raped again. Her life was dark as it had always been. June woke up with nothing on her bottom half beside a street one morning out in Forest Lawn. That dominatrix life had got June beat. June met Joe, a friend of size, and Joe gave June a brand new life. June left behind those other guys to start a life with Joe as Joe's new wife. They built a family with their son, and Joe and June are married still. Though in her youth, Joe had some fun. The dominatrix life was not for June. Well, that's my story. Um, that's quite a story. Yep. Well, she was quite a person. Mm-hmm.